What's up guys, it's your boy Chris C. Pups I bring you another edition of the Car Concierge Show. The show that helps you with the buying, selling, maintaining, and repairing of all of your vehicles. On today's show, we're going to check out a young cat who is tearing up his hometown streets with his Hellcat. We're also going to head over to Honda and check out their new recalls that just came out recently. And last but not least, we're going to do our normal trope and check out a massive layoff situation over at the Lithia Company. So, first off, we're going to check out a little story about a young man who has a very nice, very modified Hellcat, and he seems to be tearing up the streets of Belltown. It's my first reaction to this was that... Um, well, let's check it out first, and then I'll get, get reactions afterwards. Day after day, month after month, Seattle police trying to get Miles Hudson to knock it off. Like, remember when we talked last time? Uh, Do you remember? I, last time you I got pulled over in Seattle. Over but the Belltown Hellcat continues its reckless run. The 20-year-old wannabe speed racer is accused of tearing up downtown Seattle roads at more than 100 miles per hour. One, two. And blasting his engine at 2 o'clock in the morning, all in his souped-up Dodge Charger Hellcat, valued at close to $100,000, considering the base cost and all the mods installed. Um, I reached out to several of the car mod companies Hudson has linked on his Instagram. Their thoughts on the Hellcat driver? are mixed. One local business told me Hudson is one of their favorite customers. Another company who makes software for race cars tells me they had no idea they were being connected to Hudson's alleged shenanigans. The company said they're going to try to distance themselves from the Belltown Hellcat fast. But the big question is after months of complaints, tickets, and reports, why is this still a problem? Technically, Hudson is no longer behind the wheel. The city got him with two reckless driving charges. Yet his videos keep popping up. That's because Hudson now rides shotgun while his other cohorts take the wheel. In mid-May, Hudson's mom emailed the city saying they're trying to get the car up to compliance. And Hudson no longer has the car in his possession. But just last week, a new video went up on Hudson's Instagram showing someone wearing a mask whipping the car around intersections. On Friday, the city ran out of patience. In this letter Fox 13 News obtained, it says Seattle City Attorney Ann Davison requests a default judgment against Hudson. Court docs say he would be on the hook for upward of $83,000 for all of the fines. He said he's not quitting anytime soon. His social media following is paid for his car. Hudson is expected in court later this month. He said that? Yeah, he said, I got 700,000 followers, man. I'm making a career out of this. In, uh, Reporting in Seattle, AJ Janabel, Fox 13 News. All right, shout out to Seattle. All right, my friends, so I have mixed feelings about this story. Um, when I first was given wind of the story, my first thought was that if, that I, I was told about the fines first. I was told that he's being fined $83,000, and, and my first inclination was that if he is, if they're finding him excessively because what he's doing and the, and these are not the normal fines then I would have a problem with that it seems that they've taken it to court so they've made it a more of a, a, a more of a criminal situation than it and it standardly is than than a traffic situation which I'm, ha I'm having mixed feelings about it seems to be strictly traffic things but I also read a report where he was saying it was simply because he was black. I don't believe that's the truth. Of course, that's not true because he, he is committing crimes. He knows he's committing crimes. He's benefiting off it. He already stated that he was a content creator. He stated that the, his, his uh, subscribers or followers on Instagram or YouTube or whatever uh, social media platform he uses has already paid for the vehicle. So, you know, I, I think, I, I mean, I believe that you should be following the law. I realize that he's using this to make some sort of living, 
uh, you know, the future wave content creation. Everybody's using it to make a living. It's it's not uncommon, but of course, it just can't break the law. So, you know, I, in, in the beginning, I was gonna say they're 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 targeting my my guy, and, but after watching that video and 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 hearing what he said, you know, he he's he's making a living out of committing a crime, which is a problem in itself. Um, I hate that they try to go after his, uh, you know, what, sponsors or people that have been helping him with the uh, creation of his vehicle. It's, it's you got to uh, obey the laws, guys, uh, you know, and, and I feel like a hypocrite saying that because I, I, I've spent, I spent a decent amount of time being on the other side of the law, but I, I realize that, you know, being on the right side of the law helps your life in tremendous ways. Uh, it doesn't put other people in jeopardy because, you know, driving at high speeds, you put other people in jeopardy. And that's always a bit of a problem for me uh, more, more than anything else. Even if it's not him driving the vehicle, if his friends driving the vehicle, they're putting people in jeopardy. And that's, that's the problem. That's the major problem. And that's what needs to be stopped. So, and where's the dad at? How, why is the mom writing a letter to the whoever and not the dad? 